All right, so let's continue and literally our first step that we want to do is we want to have our default width to be a little bit wider. So let's start playing with it and literally let's go into our options in the jQuery UI, try to find the option that is right for us, which is the width, and we and start exploring with it. So literally you could just click on the width if you needed to see extra information and you can see that you have a few options. One is by entering the information as soon as you create the width and the other one is by creating an approaching the selector itself and updating it but we will we will use the initiator itself so let's let's get rolling and let's start doing it so literally what we want to do is we want to go into our dialog initiator add a new object inside of it and in that object start putting properties and the property that we want to approach is the width property and literally all we all we need to do inside of here add the width property and then select the specific uh the specific width that we want it to be so let's do that so let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So let's start with, and I'm going to set it a width of, let's start with a width of 400 pixels. And let's see if it works out. If it doesn't work out, we could always um, return again. So one of the, just to note it really, really important, really quickly, if you're not very, very familiar with JavaScript and how it works, what we're doing is we're sending an inline object. We could have created the object externally and created a new options object and just create the object externally and then send the options object directly into the dialog but because we're only going to use it once there's no need for us to create an external variable so thus we're sending the object and creating it at the same time once we've created the object one of the properties right now is the width and we're going to explore and add more properties in a few seconds but let's first see that it's working so we're going to go into our dialog click refresh and now we'll see that our dialog is exactly in the size that we want it to be well i kind of zoomed in a bit so let me unzoom in and it's exactly the size we want it to be. It's the perfect size. Now, our only problem is, is this 400 pixels, which is the perfect size for us. We want to make sure that no one goes smaller than 400 pixels. So let's look at if we have any capability of one of maybe forcing the, if we go back, um, one of our options is to make sure that our element is minimum width. And we could set a minimum width of 400 as well. So let's do that. Let's make sure that no one could ever force us to be smaller. 